Hi, I'm Rachel Gray. Welcome to my cooking channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a flavor bomb for your meat. It's chimichurri. I feel the way about chimichurri that I do about pesto. The first time I had it, I thought, where has this been my entire life? It is amazing. Chimichurri is a South American accompaniment to meat. It's herby, it's garlicky, it's tangy, it's just amazing. And it's gonna amp up the flavor to any protein that you put it on. And it's super easy to put together. Let's go over the ingredients we'll need to make chimichurri. First, we'll need one cup of fresh packed parsley leaves. We'll need three garlic cloves. We'll need one half of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, and this is where I wanna use extra virgin olive oil. Not virgin, but extra virgin. A fourth of a cup of red wine vinegar. A fourth of a cup of minced red onion. One teaspoon of salt. A fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And two tablespoons of water. Let me show you how to put it together. take my roughly chopped garlic and my packed parsley leaves and I'm just going to put them in a food processor. You can use a big food processor if you want with the metal blade. I'm just going to use the one that's attached to my stick blender and then I'm just using the pulse button going to pulse it until I've finely chopped both ingredients. And you might need to scrape the sides down. Um, my leaves are pretty dry so everything's nice and finely chopped. Then I'm going to take my parsley garlic mixture and put it into a bowl. Now I've got my red onions already in this bowl and I'm just going to add everything together. All the other ingredients we're just going to stir in. To this mixture I'm going to add a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, a fourth of a cup of red wine vinegar, two tablespoons of water, one teaspoon of salt, and a fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I'm just going to stir this mixture together and then I'm just going to let it sit on the counter at room temperature for 30 minutes until all the flavors meld. After your chimichurri has been sitting for 30 minutes, then just stir it a little bit one more time to get the oil stirred in and then just spoon it over your protein. It's a super easy way to amp up the flavor of any meat. It goes well with chicken, shrimp, and beef. So try it today. And let me know how you like it by leaving me a comment in the comments below. You can find this recipe and over 200 other recipes on my blog, cookingwithrachel101.com. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Subscribing is free. And if you want to be notified every time I post a new video, hit the bell. 